In example two, you're given three different triangles. I want you to use the theorems that you know in order to solve for the missing value x. So in this first one, well first I want to make a quick note that the difference between 7.6 and 7.7, .7, these two theorems, 7.6 deals with the altitude and the hypotenuse. So if you're working with an altitude, most likely you're using 7.6. Whereas 7.7 .7 does not look at the altitude, it looks at the legs. So if you're working with the legs and not the altitude, you're working with theorem 7.7. .7. So let's look at these. In this one, we want to solve for the value of x. Take a moment, work it out yourself first, and then check your solutions. Okay, so in this one, we see we're working with a leg, meaning we're working with theorem 7.7, .7, which is the leg theorem. We'll actually call it the geometric mean leg theorem. Tells us that the leg, x squared, is the, or x is the geometric mean of the entire hypotenuse times the part of the hypotenuse that's closest to the leg, so where they both meet the same vertex. x squared is going to be 45. x equals the square root of 45. You want to, you can enter this into your calculator. It's approximately 6.708. If you round, do make sure that you round properly. And there we go. All right, so that was the geometric mean leg theorem. All right, part B. Notice we're working with the altitude. This is theorem 7.6, which we can call the geo mean altitude. And that tells us that the altitude is the geometric mean of the two parts of the hypotenuse. So x squared equals 4 times 9, which is 36. x equals 6. I'm looking back up. Yep, we use the right equation. Our altitude is the geometric mean of the two parts of the hypotenuse. Lastly, part C. For this one, actually, this side isn't 3. This side is just x. And trust me, x does not end up equaling 3. OK, for this one, an 8 is this entire length here. This is also supposed to be 2. Fun with computer programming. There we go. Well, since we know the whole thing is 8 and this part is 2, we can go ahead and label the second part as 6. Furthermore, we notice we're dealing with a leg. This is theorem 7.7. .7 the geo mean leg theorem. So our leg squared is going to equal the entire hypotenuse multiplied by the part of the hypotenuse that is closest or shares the vertex with that leg. x squared equals 8 times 6, giving us x squared equals 48 x equals the square root of 48, which is going to be approximately 6.93 if we round properly. And there's our final answer. So again, the big ideas here are knowing our similar triangle, but then knowing these ratios. We have the geo mean altitude, which tells us the altitude is the mean of the two parts of the hypotenuse. So a squared equals, or I should probably use some different letters here, x squared equals y times z.